Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Poe Game here, and uh, well, happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate, or for those that are in uh, America. Obviously, I know it's probably different this year because uh, most of you won't be with all of your family due to what's going on, but I do hope that you have a fantastic Thursday nonetheless, and maybe this video will take your mind off things if you're having a bad time. And if you're having a good time, you know, maybe I'll make it even better. Who knows? Oh, maybe I'll ruin your day. <laughs> Who knows what actually happens. But today we're going to be using Doom Desire Jirachi plus Reggie Drago. So the idea is that Doom Desire from Jirachi stops the fairy types from wanting to be or to come in on Reggie Drago, meaning that you get to fire off your, your Dragon's Energy or your Draco Meteors or whatever with your strong uh, ability as well so shout out to pks for the team if you guys want it check out my website the link is down below and uh, yeah we have a word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by qv if you like anime or puzzles this new nintendo switch interdimensional adventure might just be the game for you explore the mysterious ruins get through obstacles traps and an army of violent penguins and warp anywhere all around it is up to you to save the universe full of diverse and colorful worlds so if you'd like to try out qv they currently have a special discount promotion 20 percent off that goes until december 9th you can check it out that link is down below let's get right back into the rest of the video so big shout out to QV for uh, sponsoring this video, helping me out this holiday season. Of course, let's look for a battle. And you know, if you guys aren't subscribed, I mean, maybe you don't care to subscribe. That's completely fine. But if you want, no, it has to be shiny. <gasps> that doesn't ruin anything at all, like, bro. You couldn't just do that for me. <laughs> like, I mean, I appreciate you telling me, but you couldn't do that. Like, I had to click, bro. Imagine shiny hunters just like that. Oh man, I want a shiny. Just click on a button. Just easy oh crap did i just mess it up but uh, yeah anyway if you guys are enjoying the videos or if you at any point enjoy this video feel free to subscribe i'm over to 256,000 subscribers which is an insane number if you think about it now my opponent does not have a fairy type but they do have a chancy which is really unfortunate because um Blissey gets two ako by dragon energy but chancy definitely doesn't unless it gets knocked off however speaking of knockoff toxapex is stupid good in this game uh, unfortunately, they have a T-Spike Absorber, but yes, Toxapex is stupid good in this game. Uh, or Shifu can challenge them a little bit in terms of how it be, it's played. And yeah, I'm Shed Shell as well for Heatran, the Magma Storm. Oh, and this is awesome as well. Unless Even if they're blocked, I can switch after. So I don't really care too much about Future Sight there. I'll just go right for the uh, knockoff and get rid of their Assault Vest and uh, set up a Toxic Spike if possible. And this allows me to get in my Jirachi. Um... Toxic Spike is cool. Obviously, they have Zapdos that can get rid of it, but I don't care about the future side that's coming out this turn. Uh, Skull Burn would be a little bit annoying, but luckily they didn't get it. And I can just set up my rocks right here. They may go Heat Ram, but I have Moltres to threaten that. Huh. I do have Toxapex as well. I'm going to go for Future Sight. I don't expect them to. Uh... Wow, are they Torment Trend? In this in this day and age, that's crazy, bro. In this climate, ah, this sub magma storm. That's still really cool. Again, I'm not worried about that because I, I do have the, um, I do have the uh, shed shell. So even if they try and trap me, I'm good. I'm just gonna go for knockoff here. Uh, sub sucks, but I don't think it makes too much of a difference because I'll just go right for uh, the scald again. Again, me having that shed shell means I can switch right now. And having this Pokemon be weakened is going to be nice for my Reggie Drago. What? I have a Shed Shell. Shell Bell, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Yo, entire game plan ruined because they put Shell Bell instead of Shed Shell. Well, that sucks um, a lot. That really, really sucks. Uh, I should have had a Shed Shell. I didn't realize that freaking Toxapex stupid thing was healed. It's supposed to be Shed Shell. <laughs> Unfortunate. And it's Shell Bell. I should have checked. Uh, yeah, you realized that after you knocked out my Pokemon, right? Yes. Anyway, we're going to throw off a Dragon's Energy now. Specs, if they go Chansey, it will be 2 it KO'd uh, because of Rocks and Poison. 
Uh, they may just stay in with Heatran, but I want them to go Chansey exactly because I want to get this damage off of them. Look at that. Ooh, look at the rocks plus poison. So I get Reggie Drago to do its thing there. I get rid of Chansey. This thing is going to get a kill whenever it comes out, which is awesome. Hmm. I have Dragon Pulse to do a lot of damage too. I might as well just click this. Oh my god, that's another one gone. That's why we knocked off the Assault Vest. Thank god. And we'll just make the nice and safe Moltres play at this point because Reggie Gregor comes in on Slowbro and gets a kill after kill. Uh, Heat Ram would have been 2 KO, which is why they switched out. I don't care if Rillaboom Swords dances. Uh, please tell me I'm Flame Body on this thing too. Let me check everything. Flame Body, the Urshifu has Urshifu's moves. Beast Boost, yep, yep. Cool, so... Uh, yeah, I got the flame body burn on them, and it's basically a good game at that point. I got just Scorching Sands. Who cares if they go Zapdos? Like, I have I have such a good shot at winning this game. From the position I'm in, I just save Moltres. Throw off Future Sight as a defog. So be it. Set up my stealth rock in their face. Who cares if they sell by getting Moltres now? And I'll just go for Scorching Sand as they end up going for Toxic. I, I real I truly it truly doesn't make a difference like what attack they go for. As long as they're low, uh, Heat Ran knocks them out in one hit. I'm never gonna lose to Rillaboom at all. And I'll just Scorching Sand again. If they want to sub, so be it. Now they just straight up lose to Reggie Drago. Uh, I'll die to the Magma Storm plus Poison stuff, but that doesn't matter because my child is in. And you can take this Dragon Energy, 150 base power. I like how Regidrago beat what was it supposed to be an Assault Vest Slowking. Uh, Galarian Slowking. Um, ooh, they, uh, they, all they did was power me up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that crit did not matter. I'm Choice Specs. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye. Hey, that's uh, that's six guys. Leave a like. That's six kills for Reggie Drago. That is six kills for Reggie Drago. Good game, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six KOs for Reggie Drago. Whew! That's a happy Thanksgiving. All right, guys. I'm gonna pause it until we find a bit uh, uh, a battle. Well, okay. I'm actually gonna pause it so I can think about how I want to make the thumbnail because Reggie Drago put in a lot of work. In the beginning and I don't want to miss an opportunity to put that instead of just putting Jirachi but that's why I got up again I wanted to explain that's why knocking off is really good early on but also that's why I wanted spikes for stealth rock because in that position when I had Reggie Drago in if they did go Chansey I mean that that does 49% minimum to Blissey so Chansey with stealth rock and poison ooh, easy to it you know? but uh, yeah I'll pause it until we find one and essentially until I think of a thumbnail idea we'll be right back all right guys so we got another game and uh, once again no um, no fairy type in this game, so that makes a pretty big difference. Hey, have fun. Uh, no toxic spike absorber either, so I really, 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 really like toxic packs here. I'm going to lead off with it and get up toxic spike. They're very good. Everything could be boots on my opponent's team too, but that's not going to stop me from getting up. I'll try until tonight. I'm sorry. Hopefully this one isn't better. But the next one is. Just, I gotta be real, you know, I'm trying to win. <laughs> uh, anyway, T-Spike look incredible in this game. Uh, they lead off with Zero Aura. Now, if they are choice banned, that's probably the only way I die. But I, I love Toxic Spike so much. I do not want to risk them being choice banned. I know a Volt Switch is coming out because this looks like Volter and plus stat, but... Damn it, you know what? I could do it. I'm gonna risk it. Please don't be banded. Don't be banded. Don't be banded. And I, I die because they're banded. Uh, so I lose my biggest threat to their team. Uh, easily, easily. Um, I know I should have won Buzzle, but uh, whatever. Throw off a Dragon Energy now. We're gonna kill Zero Aura right back. This should still kill. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we kill Zero Aura right back. Uh, Jirachi comes out. I, I think I'm just gonna lose to Suicune, so without my Toxic Spike. But I can at least go out to my own Jirachi. I can put the timer on them as they end up going for Trick there. Giving me a Choice Scarf. Uh, making it a little bit easier on me, I would say. Uh, and I don't mind getting up rocks as Entei comes out. Now, I, I don't really have the best Entei switch-ins, truthfully, which makes sense why they would get off that uh, damage on me. I'm assuming they'd Sacred Fire into Stone Edge first. 
They don't have to, though. Or Shifu's Wicked Blow is decent. Scarf or Shifu is pretty decent here. Um, Buzzwool's role is to only check her Shifu. Reggie Drago is the only thing I have to do damage to Suicune, which is why I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to make the Moltres play if they opt to go right for Stone Edge as a Howl first. It's, it's going to be worse for me, but it is what it is. I'd rather take a Stone Edge now with my Urshifu. As a Howl again. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I kill them in one hit. <laughs> I should have Scorching said it. I'm trying to think like... What would Oko at this point? I can at least go, uh, go Jirachi and throw off a uh, future sight here uh, to at least maybe scare out Entei. I, I don't know if they will at this point. Okay, they do. Sick. So I get off a future sight, which is awesome because I can get out Reggie Drago. And this is where it gets a little bit scarier. Um, oh, damn, man. Having Tox Effects meant I auto won, but I decide to risk that like a W. And they have Ice Beam. So I 100% lost this game. I'm gonna say I I, I threw away I threw away my uh, probably my best mon. Oh no, good game. I shouldn't have thrown away Tox Effects again. This was a it was a pretty easy win if I had T Spike up and I completely threw it away on my own. Uh, I got lost in the sauce, bro. The Reggie Drago just fresh off six kills. Completely my fault. Completely my fault. My opponent did exactly what they had to do. They got a little bit greedy with Entei, but I mean it, it worked out in my favor. So, I, I should not, that was my, I gave that game away. I definitely shouldn't have lost that. And that was all on me. So, what did I do well that game? <laughs> Nothing. Now, nah, um, I guess, in terms, because I want to see what I took away from that game. Um, I mean, Reggie Drago did his job, but yeah, them being banned, it was pretty big. Uh, this gun has a fairy type, which is a little bit unfortunate, because they also have two very good steals that can come in on Jirachi. So, it's going to be a lot harder uh, than most games, I would say. Um... Yeah, fun. I'm pretty weak to Garchomp as well because I don't have. I'm pretty weak to Garchomp because I don't have the. Uh, I don't have Ice Punch on Buzzwool. But I like Pex early. And me being special defensive means I can live a hit from uh, a Needle Queen. I would use Pex to knock basically everything on their team. Maybe get up a Toxic Spike. Uh, Garchomp is their lead of choice. Earthquake will not knock me out. I'm going to throw off a Scald here just because this thing is a giant threat and if I can burn it, yeah, that's going to open up my, um, I'll knock off right now as well because I get rid of an item on anything, but that's going to open up my uh, pecs even more. So we'll knock off here. Uh, if they go Needle King, that's amazing. Uh, they shouldn't, but they end up going Clef, so I'll take it. I don't really have the best answers to Clef. If it combines up, it beats me 1v1, but it, it's literally, it literally wins. So... I'm okay with them going Needle King here as I'm able to knock off. Because I'll live an attack from them. So I'm going to go for knock off here. I'll live an Earth Power. i max Special Defense. Yep. We'll knock off their Life Orb. That's going to help potentially my uh, Moltres be able to deal with them. Sludge Wave as a follow-up makes sense. That's going to help Moltres be able to deal with them. Their Teleport Clefable. Which isn't the, like, even at the position I'm at, I'm not, like, in the, I'm not in the strongest position even where I'm at. So, I'm going to make the Moltres play. Uh, Sludge Wave still does way too much, man. Holy crap, that did way too much. I don't want to have to sack versus this thing. And I definitely want Moltres in this game because it's the ability to just deal with things. In theory, I guess Buzzwool is the expendable one to get in Urshifu. Like, Vuzzle looks the most expendable. Just Earthquake here. Give him the, uh, give him the, the KO there. And I can threaten them right here with potentially Psychic. I guess they could Earth Power immediately, too. I'm going to throw off a, uh, a Stealth Rocket, though. I don't think they throw away their biggest threat to my team. Uh, especially when they have Pokemon like Feral Thorn. Exactly. And this allows me to get in Moltres and at least Roost. And threaten them. They could double back out into Nido King. As they go off for knockoff. And I actually get a burn because of that. So, again, like, really... These are strong turns for me. Very strong for me. I'm assuming a Toxic might come out. I'm going to make the Toxic Pex play. Yeah, they're definitely Tank Chomp. 
I should live an earthquake from tank chop at oh my god I didn't okay so I mean this is where it gets like bad because I can't really kill this mon um I can't really kill this mon I can't really kill feral thorn and Reggie Drago can't touch anything Buzzwool being alive wouldn't matter this team struggles with um, with what's it called this team really 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 struggles with uh, Clef I think even with this type of mon so I'll make the Urshifu play here if they fire blast so be it uh, and because uh, future sites coming out I mean not close combat either way right they're just gonna well they died I'm surprised that tank chomp died there but I'll take it. I mean, Clef can technically be stalled out. Obviously, they can go out into Needle King if they want to. Uh, but they don't know, like, if I'm choice or not. Because, I mean, me killing at 42 doesn't say anything to them. I mean, they shouldn't know, anyway. I'm just trying to think. Because, like, Moltres could... I, I guess, technically... Oh, they're unaware. Okay, that makes a little bit of a difference. Just a little bit. Yeah, that makes just a little bit of a difference. Oh, this is like some power herb stuff. Hmm. I want to make sure I can beat Mandibuzz 1v1. So I kind of want to keep Reggie Drago alive for that. I got to kill Clef, though. I know they're going to Magma Storm or something like that here. They were knockoff plus our oh, boots. This could be Scarf Eruption as well, now that I think about it. Okay, you know what? Nice. Okay, it wasn't enough to kill me, which is awesome. I'm just going to Ancient Power here. Uh, hopefully in the Clef, and then try and CC Sweep later. I doubt... Maybe I don't do enough to Clefable at them 70%. No way I do... Uh, no way I do enough to Clef. But I mean, Ancient Power is my play to hit everything. Uh, if they take more rocks, if they, if they opt to go for another eruption, at least they'll be weaker to the point where Moltres can kind of beat Pokemon. I don't know, though. It's looking very, very difficult. Like, if they're physically defensive and this gets a crit, or something, maybe. I'm going to throw off a Doom Desire this time. And simply, I think, uh, I think I Moonblast here. Because if they go Heatran, at least I want to get a little bit of chip off on them. If they go Needle King, I can sack Reggie Drago. I, I, I mean, it's not looking the strongest right now. Like I said, I'll be 100% honest. Actually, Urshifu is my play, I think. Because Urshifu doesn't let them go anything and kill me. Yeah, as they go Heatran. Awesome. They may think that I am uh, not Choice Scarf, so... Uh, this is cool because if they forget about my Doom Desire and go right back out into Clef, I can actually beat them 1v1. I also think I kill... Oh, I, I want to hope that Doom Desire plus that kills Mandibuzz. Cool. It does. So, I get rid of Mandibuzz there. Perfect. Not... Still not the... the still not a winning game just yet. But the Stealth Rock switch-ins on Heatran means that Eruption is going to be weaker. So, I mean, Flamethrower, Flamethrower. I probably beat Clef 1v1 via Defog and stuff. Though I want rocks up currently. They should go Clef. Needle King also forces a kill. Needle King's the better play than going, I think. I, I hope they misplay and go Heat Rain. But Needle King's definitely the better play because it forces a kill. Uh... I mean, it depends what they think I am. Again, like they could be thinking I don't think they're Choice Scarf. And they could also be... They're definitely not Specs, dude. They did 50%. Best case for me is they go Heat Ran. They, like, I, best, literally best case for me is they go Heat Ran. And then they take uh, a million damage. I'm not really feeling... I understand why it has Moonblast for Urshifu, but I'm not really feeling Moonblast. I think that Iron Head at worst gives me... Outs? They do go Clef. 
kind of want to click CC, though it is kind of a losing play at the same time. Is it? If they double, is worse for me. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's not it's not like a guaranteed loss here, but it does make Heat Ran do its job way easier. I'm trying to think, like, what's better than Moonblast in this position? Maybe Aura Sphere? It doesn't do that much damage, though. Thunder Wave could work, too. I like Thunder Wave. I'll put Thunder Wave there, because that allows Reggie Drago to do its thing. There's Heat Ran. Uh, Reggie Drago looks to be the sack, depending on if they click Earth Power. I mean, they should never click Earth Power, but... They click Plume. I'll just Ancient Power, just in case. Get in her Shifu here. If I poison jab once into Clefable, I beat him 1v1, but I'm, I'm a close combat again. Uh, just because Needle King would be 2 hit KO'd. Uh, Feral Thorn. Ooh, it's tough. Because they should go Feral Thorn. They should. I, I mean, if Feral, if Feral Thorn dies in one, I really hope they're. Like, I didn't see their item, but I really hope it dies in one. Like, it's, I, I hope it's fully special defensive. Because if it does die in one, at least I have more switch ins. And then I could potentially Wicked Blow through. Because Needle King will die, and I'm pretty sure a 50% Heat Round would die too. Though them giving me Heat Round would be really good as well. Thunder Wave doesn't even help me in that situation. Maybe I should just put Psychic as well. Just because I get to threat impacts. I think that... I, I, maybe Aura Sphere here. Just because it lets me threaten everything in the spec. Like, every single Pokemon. Wait a second. I think I close combat. The reason I said that is because if they protected, uh, if they wish, I can hit them through protect. I'm glad they went Needle King there. So we get a kill right now. Um, we get a kill because of Unseen Fist, right? Isn't that how it works? I get the Unseen Fist and I win? Like on Uncle Fable. Yeah, yeah, I just... If they go Uncle Fable, I just click CC. Because if they wish up, I can hit them through protect. And if they kill me, then Moltres kills them back. So I have two CCs, right? Nice. So I don't think they should have hard doubled. And they died of rocks as well. So now we get to show off Unseen Fist, which is pretty cool. I can't believe we won this game. It's not over yet, but I really think we win. I do. I do. Because they're going to remember about my ability, which Urshifu doesn't get to show off too much. Anyway, we kill Clef there. They don't get the wish pass into anything. Moltres definitely lives a lava plume. I sack Jirachi. For sure. And then Moltres wins. So right there they should have for sure healed or moonblasted. But because they doubled out to Needle King, that meant that I had extra I had extra sacks. I don't think Needle King should have ever came out, I'm gonna be honest. I think this should have been a, a lost like a lost cause. Okay. I think I uh, just click Wicked Blow. I don't think there's anything that Heat Ring can go for that knocks out Moltres unless they have random Stone Edge. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> they could have random Stone Edge though, and I just choked. I, I switched because if they did have Stone Edge, if they do have Stone Edge and Heat Ring, I don't think they do. But if they do, I threw. Okay, hazards or whatever don't matter. I Scorching Sands every turn. I Scorching Sands into Roost. I guess Stone Edge won't even knock me out, if I'm being honest. Like, it don't matter. I'm a defog just so I have her Shifu in the back, but if they have it, they have it. You know, that's it. If they have it, they have it. I don't think they have it because you definitely have Earth Power, and I'm assuming maybe Dragon Pulse. I only made that play because I, I just came to mind they could have Ancient Power randomly.
the only reason I'm scorching sanding is because, again, if they go heat ran and I'm at 30%, I don't know how much lava plume does to mulchers, and I'm not calculating it. I might be throwing at this point, too. They go for spike there. Dude, they have to they have to have ancient power, right? They definitely have it, right? I throw off just scorching sands every other turn. That way they can't get in Moltres. Or that way they can't get in here in. Okay, they spiked that turn. Ah, <laughs> good. Good, I win. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if they had ancient power, but I gotta ask. Did you have, <laughs> bro? Did you have ancient power? Okay. Okay. So, cool. Cool. GG. I don't know if I made the correct turns. Honestly, what they should have done was spike until they they needed to try and stall me out of defogs because they had more spike than I had defog. But, I don't know. We'll pause it, guys. We'll be right back. Can't believe I won that game. So again, we are playing a game with absolutely no a dragon resist. So you already know we lead off with the Drago. Click my moves. I have Scarf or Shifu, which is really good here. Uh, biggest problem, I, the Galarian Zapdos is very annoying. But, Shuckle, <laughs> go ahead. Feel my big dragon energy right now. Right now. Got the Dragon's Maw, too. We using teeth. <laughs> that's, that's, well, not me, but, you know, we using teeth. Cost up? Hmm. Cause that is allowed. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a switch out into Jirachi to go for Future Sight. Excuse me. To be go uh, to go for Doom. Uh, to go for Doom Desire here. Uh, just because it, it guarantees a hit on something. Hello. What's going on in Showdown, bro? Is there just some insane lag that's going on today? Yeah, like, what, what's actually going on on Showdown? I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Anyway. No reason not to click Doom Desire. Hits everything on the team. Even the Monster Resist won't be appreciating it. Uh, I may not be faster than Crawdon. Crawdon, I got Buzzwool, though. As long as Crawdon doesn't set up for free, I'm good. So I, I actually stay in on Crawdon if they go out to it. And I click Aura Sphere. Now, defogging in front of Zapdos... Isn't probably the best play. But you know what? I'm going to still do it. Because right here, even if they go Zapdos right now, they'll still take a Doom Desire. And I only need, I only need Moltres for two Pokemon, but they probably Brave Bird after. So, and Doom Desire kills, uh, will kill Shuckle. And it'll get enough damage on Zapdos to the point where I hopefully can beat him uh, via. Actually, yeah, that'd be a problem. To be honest, but via Brave Bird recall. I guess they don't. If they're not Brave Bird, if they are, um, what's it called? If they're actually not Brave Bird, and if they are the, I almost want a flamethrower here. That's the defog, I think. Regardless. If they're like Scarf, right? If I don't see leftovers on Zapdos, it's it's not you know it's not the end of the world. As I get a sticky web anyway, so they explode. <laughs> I mean, it's not like again, this is not like this is the end of the world, right? I can. It's very similar. Uh, I definitely flamethrower first, because we know you not having roost makes a difference. Let me go ahead and roost once. I'm going to defog in their face. To give them multiple opportunities. Just make sure this mon's alive, basically. Um, Pex is good there for, for this. Pex is good for this mon, but I feel like Urshifu counters that, or deals with that. So I'm going to go Pex. As they go for CC. Yo, okay. Not exactly what I wanted, but 
again, it's not the end of the world. This mon beats a lot of their team too. Uh, and I still, this mon beats one and two, technically. So they're gonna have to Brave Bird here. I think I give them Jirachi. Yeah, so they died a recall. They're perfect. Spectre Air comes out. Harder Shifu we go. Holy crap. Click that wicked blow on my scarf. Okay, that was the mon that I was scared about losing to the most. Crawdon comes out. I got a fast buzzwall here, and it is ready. And it is waiting, my friend. So I stand by my plays and I click that drain punch. My homie got some attack on him too. Ooh. Nah, buddy. I am faster than you. Go ahead and give me that beast boost in defense. So he just loses to every mon, yeah. Let's go. All right, we'll pause it. We'll be right back. So we have another game and a uh, few things. Scarf or Sheaf was good here. Picks off a lot of Pokemon on their team. Um, we don't... Oh, holy crap, man. Regilecki destroys me. Uh, you too. Regilecki absolutely destroys me. Um, yeah, I don't know how to stop it. It just wins. I have to keep Regidrago as healthy as possible, and that's impossible in this game. That's impossible, because they're going to lead... Okay, they didn't lead it, luckily, but... Very similarly, like this is not a strong start for me. Uh, I definitely want rocks up as they go for Thunder Wave right there. Sorry about that. We'll throw over Future Sight immediately. I'm assuming Garchomp would want to come out. I need to keep Regidrago healthy. That way I can eat one hit from Regieleki. That's, I don't think, as, as good as like its stab is in this game too. My bad, bro. Okay. Get my rocks up, and we're gonna make the Urshifu play. I don't expect them to stay in, uh, or if they do, they'll go for rocks. As they go for knockoff, sucks that they got this support option off on me. Knockoff, Thunder Wave, that sucks to lose my choice scarf. Holy crap! Okay, uh, Spectre can beat me. I have to keep Toxifex alive now. Right back we go, baby. Future Sight once more. Come on, come on, come on. I like the idea of bringing out Pex here and uh, I'll T-Spike. Good, good, good. So they die, which means I keep my T-Spike up unless they spin, of course, which they could be boots on Regieleki. I don't really care about them getting them up as long as I got my T-Spike up. My T-Spike up are way more important. Way, 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 way more important versus them. Like, I don't care about their T-Spike. My T-Spike, hella important. Their T-Spike, eh. Now, it sucks they knocked off my Choice Scarf, but it, I, and it, it sucks because I can't bluff, like, Sucker Punch and stuff versus Reggie Alecki. But again, my T-Spite, really, really, really good here. It says, hey, watch out, everything. Uh, they could go Spectre Air and start subbing, though, and, and beating me down. Best case is they go for, like, Nasty Plot, and I, I managed to break through. Okay, this is very important that they went to this mod. Come on, dude, what's going on? Come on, come back. Why are everybody always trying to DDoS me? Uh, Jirachi is expendable, kind of. They opt to Thunderbolt, so they get the kill on me. I get in Reggie uh, Drago though. I just click Dragon Pulse. Uh, if they stay in, it's it's better for me, but it's not. They're, they're gonna six L me with Specs Hex, aren't they? If they stay in, it's better for me, but otherwise, I get a kill with Dragon Pulse on basically everything, right? Suicune will be 2-hit KO'd for sure with everything up. Suicune will be 2-hit KO'd, but will I lose to Spectre is a problem. Like, I think I, I do. I really think I do. Is there definitely Specs Hex, right? Wait, is my Urshifu paralyzed? It's not. Okay, I mean, it's poison? No, it's not. So, I can actually absorb the T-Spike, which is going to make a big difference in, in terms of winning this game. Uh, that would mean that's... Uh, my my Urshifu will be able to live a hit. So they basically give me a kill here. I would not mind it being Reggie Lucky, but to be fair, I really wish it's Suicune. I really hope it's Suicune. Like Reggie Lucky is obviously great versus me, but I really, really, really because I don't have the best special defense, but my HP, whoo! Out of part. My HP here. So that's fine. Go ahead and give me a K right now. So they give me Rillaboom, which gets some grassy terrain. Uh, and doesn't, and dies right after. My bad, I didn't mean to skip turns, but it died to Dragon Energy. We're good. 
Torillaboom's gone, which means that Moltres is hella expendable. Spectre comes out. I'm gonna get up the, I'm gonna get rid of the T spike first just to be safe. Oh, they are not specs. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, please, please, Pex, please. I need you to do this for me. That's great. Come on, Pex. Ah, the knockoff would be very important. They're taunt, though. They're taunt nasty plot. So, oh, they're taunt sub. Awesome. This is way better for me. This is way better for me. Come on, Pex. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. A little bit unfortunate, not going to lie, but Moltres does live the hit. Very, very easily. And I can flamethrower now. So we just flamethrower now. Uh, they go Garchomp, which I'm okay with again. It gets poisoned on them. I have my uh, my Buzzwell, which is my quote-unquote counter. As they get up Stealth Rock. Toxic is basically on everything. I'm going to click Earthquake here. I don't care about them toxicing me. I just want to make sure that Spectre can't come out for free. If it is uh, sub... If it is the sleeping Suicune, then it's a uh, it's more annoying for me. I'll just roost, because they will die anyway, and the Beast Boost doesn't help me out at all. Like, it doesn't. Uh, Regieleki is such a problem, man. It taking Stealth Rock is very important, though. <laughs> but, I mean, the same thing could say, be said for me. I'm going to die here. They may Volt Switch. I hope they Volt Switch instead of Thunderbolt, but no. Damn, man. I'm gonna drop a Draco. Do I die? Yo, are you kidding me, man? Dude said premature GG. It 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 wouldn't be faster anyway. Hmm. It's a freaking rap now, right? That's it. I just lose. I simply lose. Like. I just I just lose because I I missed the Draco. And now they kill all my mons. Well, it depends. If they're sub calm mind sweep when I beat them 1v1. And it just comes down to if I can knock off Spectre or not. So uh we'll see if. That really sucks, man. I went for a Draco meter because if they went Suicune, I wanted to get the, the biggest chance possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Pex, come on. Dude! I, I gotta ask him. Was it... Rest Talk Suicune? I need to know. Because if it wasn't, I just 1v1'd it. If, I mean, if it was Rest Talk, I, mean, it, I could still potentially 1v1 it. Or I can just completely lag out. So, unfortunately, guys, we got completely hacked here. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I missed Draco on that. I got full... I would have had 10 Pokemon, by the way, so... <sighs> That's so whack, dude. I guess I got DDoS as well, because the battle isn't ending. I want to know, bro. So annoying. Uh, whatever, man. We'll find out. I hope you guys all enjoy. We'll find out next time, I guess. I hope you guys all enjoy. I'm really, I'm really sad about that last game. Uh, Nyilago missed two Thunder Waves, but then it got so much mileage out of Thunder Wave anyway, right? I had the T Spike up. I had no Ground type versus Regieleki. We still had a shot, and then it was just like, nah, you know what? Forget the entire game. But yeah, I mean that's just what happens. Like one pair can change the game. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends. Hey, leave a like and feel free to. Uh, Check out QV. The uh, the link is down below. But uh, yeah, I really. Uh, I guess I guess before I end it, I really do think that uh, Reggie Drago is underrated. Um, I think that people can do things with like Ring Target, right? The same thing as um, it doesn't help you deal with Misty Terrain, but that doesn't matter when you're using Dragon Energy. That's still a pretty strong move. But uh, yeah, you can use things like Ring Target with I guess Klefki and Zoroark. Uh, you can use Trick Ring Target with Jirachi as well, but I don't think it will make much of a difference considering most Fairy types won't be staying in on this Pokemon anyway. But man, we could have went undefeated today if I didn't, uh, what was it called? If I didn't throw away my Toxapex in that one game, that was completely my fault. And if I didn't get 
fully paralyzed in this game. But whatever, guys. Leave a like for the six KOs that Reggie Drago got in the first game. Just like Articuno on the high ladder. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. And I, I guess that's... Do I have anything else to say? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I didn't even plug my merch at all. Hey, if you guys want to pick up my merch, the link is down below. It's available till I think, December 4th or 5th. I think the free shipping on 50 or over is done. But, I mean, if, if code free over 50 still works for you, obviously, go ahead and use it, right, for the U.S. orders. But, yeah, link is down below. We have over 150 sold. Thank you so much for all the support. I'll see y'all. Peace.